welcome back, y'all. Um, been a while since my last video. Uh, what can I say? Life uh, gets in the way. Uh, nothing bad going on, but uh, just been busy with work and the holidays and four day weekends. Been trying to keep up with orders and got a chance to go home and visit family for the fourth. So I'm uh, nice and refreshed and ready to get back and. Uh, get these videos rolling. So I thought today, since this is my biggest seller, and uh, I always get questions on what I'm doing and everything to make these baits, because it's a little different than just pouring a swim bait, uh, but it looks fantastic. This is going to be Aurora Borealis, and uh, I named it that because the first time I ever made it, when I was tinkering around with it, it looked just like the Northern Lights. So I just thought that would be a cool name, and I, I still think it's appropriate. But anyway, let me get this uh, plastic heated up, and uh, we'll get started. All right, we got our plastic ready to go. Um, for the most part, this is going to be um, the belly part and the skin pore, all in the same, all in the same color. Um, so what we're going to do is, it's basically going to stay clear. I'm just going to add a little bit of my uh, secret sauce that everyone probably already knows what it is. But See, this video is mostly about learning the technique, not exactly how I make my, my baits. But if you watch any of my other videos, you can, you'll know exactly what this powder is. And we're just going to use ever so... In my notes where I wrote it down, I said just a smidge. <laughs> so that's all we're going to use right there. I'm going to throw that in just to get a little bit of that effect. And like I said uh, in my other videos, this is, you can use this any way you want. You could put other powders in there uh, whenever we get to the, tech, the other part of this technique. And uh, you can add your own little twists on on this kind of thing but I just got barely enough in there to see the see the effect start to take place and you probably can't even see it on the camera you probably can't you probably have to be it uh, in person to see it but let's see here you can kind of see that beautiful uh, powder that's in there it's my favorite stuff so all we're going to do, we got to get this up to temperature, and then we're going to do some skin pouring. And we'll be right back. All right, uh, we're back. We got the plastic uh, vacuumed again and reheated. I got the plastic up to about 370 right now, and that's about how hot I like it when I skin pour. Um, so what all I'm going to do is literally take that little bit of that clear plastic with a little bit of that powder in it, and we're just going to pour just a little layer inside the belly. And I try to keep it below. It's going to go over a little bit, but I just, just try to make it just like that. I try to keep most, the bulk of it below that little lateral line you can see on, the, on these angling AI uh, open pores. And uh, it's just really just as easy as that. And it's gonna, for the most part, they're all gonna look the same. I mean, no, none of them are gonna look exact, but that's just the, the bait making world. You can't make everything exact. And in fact, I think everything looks better if it's not, uh, if it doesn't look like it came out of a, uh, like a machine or it was machine made. It looks a little more natural, in my opinion. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pour the rest of these up off camera, then we'll come back for the next step. All right, we're back. Got them all poured up, and uh, they look roughly the same on all of my molds. But here's the next step. Here's the, where the technique comes in. Uh, now, I didn't, I didn't invent this technique. Uh, I definitely came up with the color scheme and all of that myself. But this technique, I actually learned from uh, the man himself, Chris Jones, from uh, World's Worst Fishing. Uh, if you're into this kind of stuff, uh, you might want to check his channel out because he is... He's pretty much the man when it comes to uh, pouring, open pouring uh, swim baits. 
and uh, just soft plastics in general. He's what got most of us into this thing. But uh, I learned this technique from him. Um, but I kind of came up with my own method and colors and color scheme and everything. But it's the technique that's important. Um, because you can go around and make your own stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paintbrush. I'm going to dip it in to that same powder that I used in the plastic earlier. And I'm just going to coat that, that layer of plastic that I skin poured with this powder. I lay it on kind of thick. That's why these cost more than the other baits, because this powder is expensive. And these take these take twice as long as any of my other baits to make. So <laughs> they cost a little more. But they whenever you get them, they are you're worth it's worth that extra seventy five cents or whatever it costs extra the to get these. But yeah, just put a nice uh kind of generous layer of powder there. And uh, I'll get the rest off camera, but yeah, that's all it is. I look how pretty even even before I fill it with the plastic. I mean, that already looks really good. Cool. So I'll get the rest of these powdered up on off camera. We'll get them on the griddle, and uh, we'll start pouring away. And we're back. So this is going to be the the top color, and. Uh, just keep in mind, while I'm mixing this up, my the molds are put together and they're heating up on my uh, griddle already. I have it set at uh, about 250, and I just want them to be hot. That way when I'm ready to start pouring after I mix this up, um, the plastic's going to flow like water, like I, like I need, so I can pour this uh, accurately and make, it look, uh, make them look nice. But anyway, let's mix this color up. So this is going to be the top. We're going to go with one drop of black. Maybe try to get that little... There we go. One and a half drops. There we go. And then I, I really love this uh, silver pearl powder. And I'm just going to... I'm going to go just... Like another little big smidgen, like that. Then, some of my secret sauce powders. I use this in a lot of my baits. I think I used this in uh, my hickory shad. No, I didn't. That was a different one. But this is one I, I typically use. I'm just going to put just enough in there so you know it's there. And I'm talking, that is it. That's all I'm going to use. But look how pretty it is. That is some cool looking stuff. Put that in there. And then we'll start mixing. Now it's going to look kind of dark, but whenever you uh, make the pour, it's just going to, you're just barely going to be able to see it. And that's kind of what I want. I want the focus to be on those this, those sides where we, we uh, dusted them with powder. That's where I want all the focus to be. There we go. And uh, even though it's just kind of like a translucent gray, it's got a lot of cool pearl and uh, hyper shift effects in there. So you're getting your money's worth, trust me. <laughs> all right, so we got this guy ready. This, co this top coat's ready. I'm going to reheat the the original color we mixed up and uh, we'll be ready to start pouring up. Be back in just a moment. All right, y'all. We are back. These are somewhat cooled off. It's been about an hour. They're still pretty warm, so I'm going to crack them open with my gloves on. But uh Let's see how they turned out. Yeah, that's about it right there. You can see if I can get the light to hit it. See the little aurora, aurora borealis effect on the sides. 
Looks like they definitely melted all together. No, yeah, they definitely, they cooked plenty. Cool. So I'll go ahead and put some eyes on them real quick and finish the the effect. And these are my top selling bait. And uh, that's how you make them. Let me get these eyes on. Oh, they just look so much better with those eyes. This really completes it. All right. So yeah, uh, tell me what you think. It's a really cool technique, and all you other guys out there that make uh, open pours and looking for effects. This is uh, Chris Jones, like I said earlier. That was his technique. I came up with this particular color scheme, but if I hadn't learned how to... I'd, I probably never would have thought to skin pour it and then dust it with some powder. You can dust it with anything. I mean, it doesn't have to be that the powder I used. Um, but it looks really cool. And it really has a just a nice transition from the belly to the, the top color and then obviously the the focus is right here that's what's going to flash in the water and uh, really get uh, any kind of predatory fish's attention it in the sunlight it's just killer but I hope y'all liked it and uh, if you're interested I mean I sell them on my website um, I'll link uh, Chris Jones's YouTube page in the description because that's where I got the idea, and he's just awesome, so <laughs> you guys gotta go, if you like my videos, you gotta watch his, but uh, anyway, till next time, I'm out.